Well, the city of Akron is asking the U.S. EPA if it can back out of a $200 plus million dollar project the mayor says would only help treat sewage water in a limited capacity. But with that limited capacity would come a sewage rate hike of 20% if the project has to move forward. Yeah, Emma Henderson breaks down the message Akron is sending to the EPA. That if we have built the HRT, we would have to raise sewer rates 20% higher than if we don't have to build it. An EHRT, or Enhanced High Rate Treatment Facility, could be coming to Akron's wastewater treatment facility near mile 13 of the towpath trail through town. What is now a green space with a trail and a stream running through it would turn into a large concrete building designed to treat overflow sewage water at the cost of more than $200 million for the building, plus additional funds for upkeep. We've not had an overflow at this site, and I hope I don't jinx myself, in over 498 days, in fact, 500 days will be Thursday. So in that time, the EHRT would have sat here useless, just waiting, wasting our residents' hard-earned money. Akron Mayor Dan Horrigan and his administration have come out against building the EHRT. The problem, it's part of a consent decree agreement between the U.S. EPA and the city that's been in place since 2007, with the goal of reducing the amount of raw sewage going into the Little Cuyahoga and flowing into the Cuyahoga River. But city officials say the changes they've been required to make have already reduced that flow by 99%. We've put over $100 million just in the plant in the last five years. I guess the long short of it is we'd love to spend that $209 million um, to do other projects, especially in water. The city has filed paperwork with the U.S. EPA to see if they can skip this project because of the wastewater improvement projects they've already implemented since 2007. The U.S. EPA has 45 days to respond. A U.S. EPA spokesperson says they don't comment on ongoing enforcement negotiations. In other words, we have to wait. Exactly. Emma Henderson, live for us there. Emma, thank you.